proposal of clamped joint for connecting room members and study of their application to special structures. I am Yoshisato Isaka from Nikken Seike, Tokyo, Japan. Nowadays, in the interest of the protecting the global environment, there is a strong push to achieve carbon neutrality within the building industry. As a means of the assembling the wood, wood machining technology has been developed, but it has not yet become widespread enough. We believe it is desirable to develop a special structure using wood that can be constructed without knowledge of specialized machinings or construction techniques. So, we have developed a clamped joint system that can easily join wood members to each other. First, the issue to be resolved is the members are not jointed on the same plane, which results in an offset at each node. We study the structure to solve this offset reasonably. One, as a solution to dimensional change such as wood thinning due to aging, two shaped protrusions prevent wood from slipping out in the actual directions. Two, in order to make it easy for anyone to assemble and disassemble, the clamp can be tightened by hand without the use of special tools. Two types of tests are conducted, actual test and bending test. In both experiments, the loading caused the clamp test teeth to sink into the post and beam materials, but there was no brittle fracture. In this graph, this red dotted line shows the initial stiffness of the clamps, and the value are shown in this, in this table. The stiffness of clamp to be set in the analysis model is decided based on this clamp unit test. From here, medium scale special structure using only orthogonal clamps of actual use are shown. This unit can be used as a bench or a meeting booth in daily life and can be used as a private booth for patient by disassembling the wood and hanging the membrane in case of an emergency assuming COVID-19. The size of the booth is 2.8 meters wide, 2.0 meters deep, and 3.0 meters high, using 45 millimeters square number. The preliminary analysis was performed under following conditions. Column legs are pink supported. Nodal load 0 to 800 newtons for point A and B total. Analysis condition is elastic. Then, structure loading tests were conducted. As a result of the test, it is confirmed the parity of the preliminary analysis. Next, I'd like to introduce an example of the dome structure using the cedar wood and scraps. This dome is a hemispherical dome with a diameter of 5.4 meters and height of 3.2 meters. The dome shape is based on the Da Vinci dome. As shown in the photo on the upper right, the dome can be formed by repeating the same triangle as well as by shifting the core of the components and jointing them. Full-scale experiments were also conducting to confirm the structural safety of this dome. It was confirmed that the dome can be used safely up to 2,000 newtons based on the load deformation relationship between the centralized load A and the asymmetric load B. A membrane roof was installed around the frame. The membrane was supported by strut tips protruding the frame, and tension was introduced by pushing the strut out for the length determined from the analysis to stabilize the shape. The table on the lower left shows the materials used. 
and the figure on the lower right shows the counter diagram of the tension uh, membrane tension. The membrane was cut in three dimensions, and this figure shows the cutting patterns. The alphabet indicates the group of cutting patterns. We took care not to have too many different shapes. The curvature of the welding line between the panels becomes large when trying to create an isotonic curved surface, making it difficult to manufacture. Therefore, we search for a shape that allows to obtain tension state as close to equally as possible, using welding line with small curvature. In addition, the dome is made of lightweight wood and membrane and can be constructed by simply clamping the joint together. That can be constructed by hand. The site was in the middle of Hokkaido in Japan. This is a shot of the foundation being prepared for the dome. This is a view of the triangular unit of the dome legs being put together. This is the moment when the frame is completed. The membrane is deployed from the top. The membrane lying and the tension is introduced. It. This is a complete dome. Here is a 3D image of the inside of the dome. You can see the shape of the wood grid frame and the arrangement of the membranes. Finally, I'd like to thank all the people involved in this project. We want to continue to demonstrate the expandability of this proposal and continue to move the project forward. Thank you.